Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about downloading videos from video websites and converting them for free. Now, uh, you're probably thinking, oh no, not again, because there's a load of websites that are on the internet that do this, and there's also a load of programs that do this. Uh, previously I talked about one called Orbit Downloader, and you could download your videos into FLV format, and then I, I said that you could use Media Coder to convert them. Now, um, I also said something called Tube Hunter, but that's not free, and what that does is does it all in one application. So I finally found something that I'm actually going to stick with, and it's called X Video Service Thief. It's free to download. Now it's only an alpha stage, but this actually converts, um, it downloads and converts them all in one application. So you don't have to keep worrying about converting things and things like that. So I'm just going to show you it in action. Go double click. So again, it's an alpha stage, so there may be bugs, but. Um, this is the main box, it says X Video Service Thief and um, it's got a download list uh, download videos automatically convert videos so we want to do them both and the downloads directory I've set to desktop now um, straight away I could just um, add a video if I wanted to but I'm going to go to more options so I'm going to click that and you can see it says basic and it says debunk and desktop that's where the downloads are we're going to forget about this and this is the bit we're going to concentrate on, converting videos to MPEG, DivX, ETC. Now, you may know from many um, and many applications, they do it to a wide variety of formats. But if I show you this one, this just shows you the essential ones that you really need. Because if you think about it, do you really need to convert it to other formats than these? Because, um, I mean, AV is for your PC, WMV, these are all for your PC. Uh, this is for your iPod, this is for things like mobile phones and this for mp3 player so this is really all you'd need so um, I've been looking for a quite a long time a YouTube to mp3 converter that's on my desktop um, and I couldn't seem to find one and uh, that well that works very well anyway because I previously used uh, YouTube to mp3 converter from DVD video soft but I have to keep um, clicking extra things pasting in links now this um, does it in a different way which I'll show you in a second so I'm going to choose mp3 format and I'm going to download one of my own videos so if you were to use something like AVI or MPEG you can change the video resolution so it will resize your video on the fly to various sizes uh, the audio sampling rate so you can have a better or lower quality audio video frame rate so you can change that if you want to and the output quality you can change it from low, lower, low, normal, medium, good and superb so obviously that's going to take the longest longer to convert or download or whichever so um, and then delete the original file downloaded so uh, it downloads the mp3 uh, it downloads an FLV file which is what um, you can you download from YouTube what it will then do is convert it to whatever I've chosen which is mp3 and then it will delete the FLV so it's doing it all for you what you do usually manually if you're not using a website which server usually goes down or is busy anyway so uh, I'm going to ignore language session and updates. Now this is an interesting one because it, um, it allows you to ha um, download videos from adult websites because uh, they're in the supported websites here. There are some adult ones. Now um, you can actually um, have it so you can block some websites from. So if you're in using, uh, if you have kids, if you're using kids, if you have kids and uh, you want, you don't want this to work with it or whatever, you can have it in the blocked websites. So, um, or if you want to stop yourself from downloading adult videos, I don't know. But any, either way, you can block websites. So, um, as you can see, these are all the ones that it supports. So it supports quite a lot of videos. And for the time being, I'm just going to download a YouTube video. So there's a bunch here that are quite good. MySpace TV, Bebo, um, all of those. Uh, I'm just going to ignore Proxy and Tracker. And I'm going to download one of my own videos. So... Um, when I first saw this and I was checking it out, I thought to myself, right, I'm going to download a video and see how it goes. I clicked add video and I thought to myself, oh no, I have to actually paste in. I really hate it when you have to do this because you do this in websites as well. You have to paste in the um, link to your site and then it converts it or some app most applications do it as well. But what I did notice is that this has a different approach to it as well without using this add video. Uh, if you notice in this little icon here, it says open the drag and drop window. I'm going to click that, and it's now gone into a really small box. Now this is great. I'm going to show you it. I'm going to go into Firefox, and I'm just going to go onto my videos. And you see it's got my dream scene one I've done here. I'm going to make an MP3 out of it, and um, 
I'm just going to simply drag the link of it onto here. Let go, and it's now said YouTube, and it's actually downloading it now. And um, I'm just going to do my next one, YouTube, and it's downloading it. And you'll notice that on my desktop it's now got two FLV files that it's downloading at the moment, which it will then convert when it's finished, and then it will delete these files. So um, all I did was drag and drop them. Now if I want to see the progress, I just double click down here, and you can see that it's getting Dream, Steel, Dream Scene style animated wallpaper from YouTube. It's got the YouTube icon, and it's now downloading them. So it's going to take about a minute. Uh, to do one of them. Now I just need to make sure I've got the right settings. Yep, it's an MP3 format. And um, this is pretty much it. I mean, you can, it, you can, this is just such a simple program to use. And this drag and drop makes it even better. Um, it doesn't matter this in alpha because, uh, well, obviously I haven't tried any other sites but YouTube because that's what I mainly use. But um, you may want to try these out. And if you find some that doesn't work, then leave a comment or something. But um, it just seems so easy to use. You've just got this one main box. You don't have to use Media Coder. You don't have to use Orbit Downloader. You don't have to use websites. You can just get it all done in here. And all it requires is for you to drag your link in. And it does it. So you don't even need to copy and paste the link anymore. You just uh, drag it into this little bit. And it goes straight into your um, directory. Now you can set the directory as, I don't know, your, my videos or my YouTube. And it will go straight into there. And obviously, in the more options, you've got these formats, which are the main formats, which this is the ideal program for me because it's got ex exactly what I want it to do and nothing else. That, that's what I like about this program. So, uh, as you can see, we're almost finished my dream scene thing here. Uh, the speed isn't as fast as Orbit Downloader, but Orbit Downloader uses a bit you know, different technology to get the uh, websites. But I'm not bothered. I mean, if it converts it, Orbit Downloader doesn't convert it for me. So... You notice it changed, and now I have download complete, and it's ready to go. So you notice it, it, the color changed. That was when it was converting it. And there we have my MP3. And if I was to double click it, hi guys, uh, just that's my stuff. So um, that's pretty much it, really. Um, this is all you need to do, really. Um, don't worry about my previous videos where I've said Orbit Downloader. Don't worry about my ones where I've said Media Coder and converting them all. Um, you can just do this, just drag your links in, it's so much easier. <laughs> um, I'm going to be using this for a while, I think I'm going to stick with this. Um, I'm going to forget Firefox add-ons and things like that, because things like that just don't work for me. Even though that they can, they can convert and things like that, I'm just going to use this one because it does it to MP3. And it does it fine, I just have to drag a link in. So, uh, that's about it really. Uh, thanks for watching my video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.